panel. Good evening. I would kind of like to start off on a more positive note. My daughter is at home this year and she is really, really enjoying in that environment and she's very thriving very much. She's on the volleyball team and she's having a grand time there. So I'd like to say everybody over there at home is doing a wonderful job. They really are. It's a great environment and it's a great place for our kids to learn. So um, so just wanted to bring that positive note That's great up to front. Hear. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, and a concern. Um, I've been asking well, I asked probably, I think it was the end of August, for the final chart of accounts, which I've asked for the final chart of accounts now probably for the last, well, I don't know how many years, four or five years. Well, not five, but about four years. And they always have been available the end of August. And um, I sent a FOIA request in, and the FOIA request um, was asked for an extension. And then... Um, Ms. Abby came up to me at a board meeting, I think it was about three weeks ago, um, saying that the final charge of accounts wasn't complete if I wanted to wait. And I thought, well, do I want to spend the money on the FOIA request if I don't, you know, if it's not done? And I thought about it overnight, and I thought to myself, well, maybe I should get it as is. And she said it would just be, you know, a short time at that point um, that the chart of accounts should be done and I should be able to get it. Um, well, I'm still waiting. And I don't understand because I believe the auditors have have been in um, already, <laughs> and the Halloween is here. <laughs> I thought you brought your own sound effects. Yeah, yeah. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I guess I just don't understand why the final chart of accounts isn't complete. I mean, the audit should normally be done the end of October normally. Well, that's usually when it's presented to the board. And I was told today um, from. Jan Clark's office that or from Jan Clark that her the explanation that she was given was is that final chart of accounts won't be available until the October 26th board meeting or committee meeting um, which I don't understand I, I don't understand why it's not complete I know the you know sometimes they kept saying the bills weren't weren't being weren't paid but you know, we got bills from, you know, the end of the year was June 30th. Yeah, okay. If I can just jump in. Sure. I mean, really, it's just waiting for uh, us waiting to book the last final couple journal entries. I mean, the majority of the work's done. The auditors have been in. They're already gone. Mm -hmm. And so they're finalizing the financial statements now, and it's just booking the last couple journal entries. No, yeah, but, you know, I called this morning, and I didn't get a phone call back. So, I mean, I'm always very courteous. I'm always, you know. Yes, you are. You know, and I never am aggressive or mean or you know no, I just want to know you know I just want an answer and yeah. somebody answer, should they haven't booked call the final couple oh. of journal entries okay and so would it. the general fund equity that I was given back three weeks ago be pretty accurate I don't know because I don't know what it was three weeks ago mm, it was about 9.2 million so um, I was just curious because there wasn't a lot of outstanding um, items encumbered mm -hmm. So, and the only other thing that I did notice, the same thing as what happened last year, is that I'm there was I'm not going to answer overage. questions tonight about specifically. Okay. If you want to no. give Lisa a call and ask her specifically if well, the call me general back. funds, <laughs> we called her today. I did. I'm sure she'll call you back in 24 hours. Okay. That's fair enough. Um, and the last thing I'd like to bring up is I know today that you folks are going to be reviewing the bid results for the pools, and I noticed that there's also another item for to do Stevenson, and... I, I would hope that the board would spend money on items like windows and things that are going to make our kids more comfortable than spending things on pools. Because right now we need to save as much money and, and use, be a little bit more uh, fisc fiscally responsible, you know, in spending that money and, and doing things that are going to help our kids. And not to say that improving a swimming pool isn't going to help them, but it isn't a necessity. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.